Hey, welcome back everybody. Steve Looney here from graphicdesignertips.com. This is episode number 15 of my new Adobe Illustrator CC 2014 series. And in this episode, I'm gonna be going over exactly what a clipping mask is. And just like everything else in this series, it's really all about the basics of it. So once you understand you know, how it works, uh, you can then go and experiment on your own. But basically, what a clipping mask is, is basically when you need to clip uh, some kind of an image, or you can even clip bodies of text too, uh, into a, another shape area. So for instance, let's scroll up here, and I have a couple of different images, a couple of different examples we're gonna be going over. Now, yes, I stuck with the, uh, the idea of fitness images because I was working on something uh, with these today, but uh, what I wanted to show you is, we have a square, we have a rectangle that has rounded edges, and then we have a circle. And then this last one, we have a an actual path that was drawn with a pen. So I'm gonna show you basically what happens uh, with the clipping mask. So say we wanna clip this image into this square. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this image over, this square over the image, and you need to make sure that the object that you're going to be clipping into needs to be on the very top. So if that square is on the bottom, and you're going to see this in a later example, what happens, it is not going to clip into it. So what we want to do is now that we have the square on top of the image, we want to select both of these. And we want to either right click and go to make clipping mask. That's a really quick way of doing it. Or you can come up to object clipping mask make or command seven. Okay, on a PC, it's control seven. So we wanna select both of these. I'm gonna do command seven, boom, and it pulls it right into there. Now, if you notice, uh, half of the image is basically gone because it clipped into there. Now, what happens in, if we don't like the way that it's cropped in there, okay? We can obviously move things around. So you wanna hit A on your keyboard to your direct selection arrow, which I did in, I spoke about in an earlier part of the series and you want to click on the image. Now, when you click on the image, it's going to show you that there's the rest of the image hiding. So if I pull this over, I know that image is, that's all that's left of it. You see how it's about to hit the clipping mask? Boom. All right. So if I come in, you're going to see now what happens. All right. So you want to mess around with this. It might make it easier if we back up and we put a stroke on it. All right. So now we have a stroke on this. Okay, and again, we're going to hit A on our keyboard. We're going to move what's around in here. Um, if you want to scale things up, you can hit E. Okay, it's going to come over to this, the transform, free transform tool. So hit E on your keyboard. And then now you can scale this up inside of here. Okay, cool. We could scale, uh, yeah, you could scale it up. Uh, or you can scale it down. But remember, there's a proportion issue because of the size of this box. So, okay. Say we have this part of the image, we got the guy smiling right here. And now we select the image now. You know, you can do some things with this image. You can come into effect, you can apply a drop shadow. So clipping masks are really great for doing icons. Like, you know, on a website, you have an icon, then you have like, you know, some kind of a saying below it, um, leading you to another area. So again, we're now gonna come over to this image. And if you notice, the image is actually behind the clipping mask. Well, the mask, the, the shape is behind the image. So what you want to do is, you know that this image is on top of the clipping mask. And no matter how many times I click this, I can't click what's underneath. So you want to click this image, but you could do a bunch of things, just like I did in the one tutorial in the series about unlocking and unlo unlocking elements. You can either lock, command two. You can now take this and you can raise it to the front or let me back up. So nothing's locked anymore, okay? I can take this image right here and I can come up to object arrange, okay? Bring to front, bring forward, bring send back, send backward. Now I'm I'm going to do a tutorial on that too. But right now we're going to send it to the back. And boom, you're going to notice that it shows up on in front now. So now we're going to select both of these. We're we're going to right click this time instead of going to command 7 and we're going to make the clipping mask like so. Again, hit A on your keyboard and we're going to mess around with this. You're going to hit E to transform, but now notice, all right? All right, you, again, you also wanna hold shift because you don't want this to happen to your image. 
So you're going to notice that you see where the right here, follow my mouse, where it's 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 ending the shape. And then you see the orange right there. That's where the image is ending. So guess what? Once you scale that in, you're going to lose some image. So you have to obviously fit within the um, the, the uh, bounds of that image, that shape. So number three, we're going to do a circle. We're going to scale it down a little bit and we're going to come up to the object or range. We're going to bring the circle to the front now. All right. We are now going to select both of these and we're going to right click. We're going to go to make clipping mask. All right. We're going to find a nice, um, you know, a nice composition here with the woman right here. And the image, we still have more image. We can pull her over to the middle a little bit more. Cool. I mean, this is like, this is, you know, I could picture this, you know, on a website, right? With like, you know, uh, a, te a testimonial, uh, that didn't work, but you know, a testimonial next to it type of deal. So pretty cool, right? Something like that. I know I'm just using random letters right now. You know, and then on a website, you know, you, you'd see a couple of these. So, you know, that's, you know, clipping masks can now help you out with all this stuff. So I'm going to delete that. And now we're going to come into this last one. I am going to show you more about the pen tool later on in another episode. But I did make this mask by simply doing the pen tool. And right here, you know, so we can make some really funky shape, you know. That shape technically can be a clipping mask. So what I'm going to do is I have this, which I drew over this guy right here. And I did it pretty rough, so it was pretty quick. Um, I'm going to now select both of these. I'm going to right click and I'm going to make a clipping mask. Now, to kind of get your, you know, head, you know, jogging with ideas that now you can do is, you know, now that I got this guy clipped out, I can, I can put him on top of any background. Okay. Um, you know, so now what I'm going to do is I can select this. I can come in here, I can apply a drop shadow on it. So there's so many things that you can do with the clipping masks because, you know, you're looking at this and then you look at the original image, you're like, how the heck did that happen? You know, I didn't have to bring it into Photoshop. That's great. So we're now going to select this image. All right. We can hit A on our keyboard, but you obviously don't want to move it even, you know, say I move it one pixel to the right or two, three. You're going to notice some funky stuff going on right away. So we're going to back up. And if you ever are unhappy with what's going on here, you would hit A on your, um, you would hit G's V on your keyboard to get back to your regular arrow. You're going to right click, release the clipping mask. Okay. And you obviously want to delete that clipping mask. So select both of these, go to command two, cause that's how you lock just like in the previous episode, we're going to select that clipping mask, which is back here and we're going to delete it. So that was a lot on clipping masks, uh, even though it's a basic thing, but it's just to get your head understanding what can be done with the clipping mask. So the next time you're, you know, making a brochure or, or anything, you can have fun with these clipping masks. And actually, you know what? Why, while I have you right here, I just want to show you one more thing because I did go over the selection tools in the uh, early episode. We're going to hit A on our keyboard, and now you can select that path of that clipping mask. And you can, you know, do whatever you want to with that path. You can mess around with the points. So now you have an even cooler clipping mask. So that's it, everybody. Thanks again for joining me for episode number 15. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me how much you love the series and then share it out on your social networks. That'd be awesome. So your, you know, your classmates and uh, colleagues, uh, you know, if they haven't heard of these tutorials yet. And uh, subscribe to my channel by clicking that subscribe button. And I will see you all for the next episode. Have a wonderful night. Peace.